Enjoy the video. Namaste. Hey Taurus, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. How's everybody doing? My bull tribe, right on. I know y'all are just pounding out this COVID-19 quarantine stuff because uh, that's what Taurus does, right? Taurus handles it. Taurus handles it. All right, Taurus. So this is a general reading for you, for me, because I am a Taurus sun, right? Pisces moon, Pisces rising and Pisces Venus, but I have a Taurus sun. So thank God I do, or I would be an absolute doormat. <laughs> Taurus keeps me grounded. All right, you guys, so this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus, and we're just going to hop right into it, right? Because y'all heard the spiel in the beginning. I'm just tired of um, trying to get the point across to everybody all the time that this just is a general reading right? So anyway, let's just get right into it, okay? I'm just going to do this a little bit differently today. I will leave a timestamp as to where you can skip all of this channeling if you don't enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, kick back and get ready because we're going to do it. Spirit. Whoa, okay, this is going to be a good one. I can tell, I can tell, I can tell. All right, let's see. Let's start again. Okay, shh, ready, set, go. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the collective of Taurus, and what do they need to know? What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to, Spirit? What is coming towards the collective of Taurus? You have the undivided attention of Taurus. Whatever it is that needs to be said here to prepare Taurus for their immediate next energy shift, Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen in these cards to bring these messages to Taurus. Spirit, I'm just going to let you come on out of the deck any way that you see fit, and I will oblige whatever it is that comes out of these cards. Spirit, let me have five more for the second row, please. Wow, look at all these reversals. Three more for the second row, please. What's going on with Taurus? What is the collective of Taurus? What do they need to know? The collective of Taurus, what do they need to know, Spirit? You just go ahead and show yourself when you're ready. Death in the center of the spread, Taurus. Wow. One more to complete this top row. Yeah, it really didn't. It didn't really. I just, yeah. We'll just put that one back in there. Okay. What else, Spirit? Give me one more for the end of the middle row, Spirit. One more. I actually need six more, but one to finish off this row, Spirit. What's coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to know, understand, and prepare for? How does Taurus navigate the next coming energetic shift in their life? Spirit, what else? I need four more for the bottom row. What else does Taurus need to know and understand about life, about the next energetic shift? What's coming towards Taurus, Spirit? What is coming towards Taurus? What else is coming towards Taurus? What else? Anything else you need to say here, Spirit? Anything else? Any? Okay. Spirit, anything else that needs to be said? Going once. Going twice. Going three times. Whoa, what was that? Wow, Taurus. Okay, Spirit, going once. Going twice. <laughs> going once. Going twice. All right. They just keep wanting to talk. We got to stop somewhere, Spirit. Got to stop somewhere. Twice, three times, and gone. Well, 
What is this one? Ooh, wee, the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Okay, we'll stop with that. What do we got going on here, Taurus? What do we have going on? All right. All right. And we have all these over here. So let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. I'll use these handy dandy mini rider weights to clarify so y'all can see both cards at the same time. Okay, so the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is somebody who is not getting their needs met. This is also somebody who is, uh, could be someone who is aggressive, jealous, demanding, self-centered, egocentric, sassy, bratty, um, foot stomping, right? Foot stomping to the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, understood. All right, so you weren't getting your needs met in a past relationship or family situation. Um, this card is about being unrealistic, right? Unrealistic to reunite or reconcile because your needs weren't met the first time around. Princess of Swords talks to us about all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You used to hold title, but you don't anymore. This is also um, crisis in the family or the home. Sometimes it's about financial crisis. I don't see that, though. I see this as a relational reading, okay? Relational as in relationship. To the moon, okay, in your mind, in your feelings, trying to feel your way through the situation to the nine of pentacles, thinking about your self-sufficiency, your independence. Queen of Swords in reverse to the King of Swords in reverse. Um, these, this is possibly an exchange. Possibly, let's see, to the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We're going to go back and read this from the top, right, Taurus? I'm just working my way through. So look at the timestamp, and that you can skip all this if you want to, okay? No hard feelings, no offense. <laughs> Okay, Six of Wands, Lack of Progress. Lack of Progress to the Four of Pentacles in Reverse. Hmm. Greed, Materialism, Self-Protection. Self-Protection. Four of Swords in Reverse, Lack of Progress to the King of Pentacles in Reverse. See, we have the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse to the King of Pentacles in Reverse. All right, got it. Uh, death in the center of your reading, ending, change, transformation because of the Six of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant, Temperance in reverse, and the Devil. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about the Devil. Tell me about the Devil. What is this Devil? What is this Devil right here? What is this Devil right here? Well, the conflict with this devil has kept you stuck for a long time. Ten of Swords, an ending, a crisis, a betrayal. A betrayal that caused crisis, that resulted in an ending. Yeah, to the Three of Cups in reverse, there just hasn't been anything created or done between the two of you um, in a good long minute, right? Yeah, look, these are reiterating. Misalignment of values, a creative block, in the moon again. Why the moon, spirit? Why the moon? Why the moon? Why is Taurus all moony? Why y'all moony, Taurus? Huh? Y'all moony. All right. Okay, so then we have justice, right? Empress in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, the breaking of a cycle, the manifestation of a new opportunity, and the world. The end of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. Uh, the end of this heartbreak down here with the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords, Spirit. What is this heartbreak? Whoa. What is this heartbreak? Happiness, judgment, okay, okay, 
to the sun in reverse. Happy, but not like aesthetically happy. To the five of swords, conflict, tension, loss, betrayal. Eight of swords in reverse, open to a new perspective. And the lovers. Tell me about this lovers card right here. Tell me about this lovers card right here. Tell me about the lovers, please. What's going on for Taurus in the lovers? The emperor in reverse. Hmm. Control and flexibility. Heartbreak. Okay, that explains that. That explains that. Two of Swords, Crossroads. There's got to be a message here somewhere. Let's see. The Six of Swords, right on. Put you at a crossroads. You exited the situation. Overinvestment of your time and effort. Um, decisions, choices, confusion, temptation. Five of Wands, conflicted. The Devil in reverse, detaching. The Queen of Swords in reverse, angry, Five of Pentacles left out in the cold. The Ten of Wands in reverse, avoiding responsibility, persistence in resilience. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Why the Nine of Wands right here, right? Why? King of Cups. Okay, you've persistently held on to that. Gotcha. To the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a new opportunity. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles right here, Spirit. What is this Ace of Pentacles about? What is the Ace of Pentacles about for Taurus? What is this about right here? What is this about the Eight of Pentacles? Wanting to engage, build something, gain mastery, learn a new skill set. What else about this Ace of Pentacles? Into the Queen of Pentacles from the Queen of Wands in reverse. That same Queen of Wands in reverse up there. All right, you guys. Let me just clarify a couple other things here and we will get started. So tell me, Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse up here. What is this about? What is this about? What is this Six of Cups in reverse about? Okay, the eight, the Page of Pentacles in reverse to the Three of Cups in reverse. Um, I honestly think that these go this way, okay? Because that's the root, that's what I was looking for, the answer that I was looking for. And as a reader, and doing this intuitively, being guided by the cards, that's the way I'm going to read them. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? King of Swords in reverse again. Well, we already have that over here. Queen of Swords to the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. All right. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles over here. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles over here. What is this about? What's this Ace of Pentacles about over here? What's this Ace of Pentacles about? Resistance to the Four of Wands. Resistance to step into. There we go. Lovers to the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Gotcha. Understood. So this is kind of like a big long story here. All right. So what is the outcome here? What's the outcome? Breaking free. What else? Holy moly. Page of Cups in reverse. <laughs> They're just talking everything. Ace of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Forgiveness, the moon again, the queen of cups in reverse. Okay, that just repeats the same old story. Same old story. Temperance. Hmm. 
Victory, progress, and success. Okay, I see. I see. I see. All right. Okay. All right, Taurus. <clears throat> okay. So, what we have is you starting out as the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse represents somebody whose needs are not met. It's the shrinking violet syndrome. It's a big green plant that you sit in the sun and you forget to water it, right? And it just shrivels up and dies. This Queen of Wands in reverse right here represents your needs not being met because of all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is representing you used to hold title in this in this situation, but you don't anymore. The Queen of Wands in reverse being my needs weren't met in the first place to the Six of Cups in reverse. My needs weren't met in the first place and therefore reuniting or reconciling with you is unrealistic. It is. It's unrealistic. Princess of Swords, all talk, no action, undelivered promises. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, used to hold title, but don't anymore. The Six of Cups in reverse as a bridge to the Princess of Swords in reverse also tells me that perhaps you've been stuck for a minute trying to clear this situation out. What's happening? Well, there's a Page of Pentacles message coming in. A small message about perhaps stabilizing or securing um, some type of situation. The Three of Cups. Let's get together. Let's talk. That's what the Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles message is about. Let's get together. Let's talk. Let's go have a drink. Let's go have a meal. Let's, uh, I guess in this day and age, let's go sit um, in a vacant park six feet away from each other so we can talk. <laughs> to the King of Swords in reverse. This King of Swords in reverse represents you're still angry about the situation that went down, right? Still angry, still holding, still holding saltiness about the situation that went down. The moon. So you're trying to feel your way through this situation because of the King of Swords in reverse. Because you are still angry about what happened and you're not real sure you want to even talk about it. Um, this King of Swords in reverse also represents what this person did to you, right? This is manipulative, tyrannical, abusive, a misuse of power somehow, some way. That's what's got you so salty with the two King of Swords is, Swords is, is in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles, right? This has brought it to a culmination on the inside of me. I may have been, you know, holding on to a little bit of it, but I brought it to a culmination. Not only did I bring it to a culmination, a conclusion within myself, but, but in this moon energy, I'm also recognizing my independence and my self-sufficiency. Do I want a relationship like this again, a situation like this again? I'm really quite good the way that I am. Therefore, I am, as the Queen of Swords in reverse, going to remain cold-hearted, stern, and emotionless about this communication to have a, have a, have a get-together. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is, this is selfishness, right? This is not wanting to give and receive. It's, 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 you don't need, see, with the Nine of Pentacles right there, you don't even need to give and receive with this person anymore. You're good. Six of Wands in reverse. Fall from grace, a state of disrepute, right under your needs not being met, right? This, this situation, whoever's bringing this message in right here that you're still all salty about, they are not in your good graces. To the Four of Pentacles in reverse. They're not in your good graces and you feel a need to protect yourself in this situation because there has been a long time lack of progress to the king of pentacles in reverse um, this is who with the queen of pentacles in reverse this is who used to be with you but is not anymore 
death in the center of the reading, bringing things to an end, um, ending the way things were, beginning the way things will be, a complete and utter transformation of a situation. But, again, fall from grace, a state of disrepute. When it comes to any kind of commitment or your expectations to commitment with this person, Spirit says that there is an imbalance. There's an imbalance in the situation because you're dealing with somebody that is toxic, an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Situation, person, whatever this is for you, right? To the Five of Wands, it creates a lot of conflict internally and externally to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And you're stuck in the mentality of, I do not want this. This is an attachment that is a restriction to my personal growth. I've been attached to it for a minute. I grew out of it. I'm on my own two feet. And quite frankly, I'm really not interested. The Ten of Swords. There was an ending because of betrayal and deception, and that's why you're in the moon energy right there, right? Thinking about your saltiness. There was a painful betrayal crisis ending, possibly because of a third-party situation, but definitely there has been no creativity between the two of you. There's a misalignment of values. There was absolutely a breakup. There's a creative block happening, probably because of you, to the moon, right? In your mind, in your subconscious mind, in your intuition, in your heart of hearts, two of cups in reverse. There is an imbalance in this relationship, in this situation. Justice comes in. Justice. Truth, honesty, fairness. The empress in reverse. Um, your justice, Taurus, is that you are blocking the creation of this relationship or this situation. You don't want this anymore. You don't want this. Empress, the card of Taurus, on top of justice. Your justice is that you are blocking the reciprocation of this person's desire to reunite with you. Emotional um, dissatisfaction with the Nine of Cups in reverse, right? Just not willing. Just not willing to have it again. To the wheel in reverse. Breaking the cycle. Closing the cycle. That's the justice, right? Is that this person comes back or this situation presents itself again. And they want to get together. And you're like, hell no. Hell no. After what went down between the two of us. After maybe what you did to me. Um, no, not happening. I am good like I am, and it's just not happening. I am breaking this cycle, finally breaking this cycle, and I am getting justice in, my, in, in, in myself. Ace of Pentacles. I am going to manifest new opportunities to the world card elsewhere. I am closing out this cycle of my life, and I'm not going back to the... Heartbreak of the Three of Swords. I'm not going back to heartbreak. The sun in reverse. I am not going to, to live my life halfway happy because of your fuckery. Not happening. I want straight up happiness, success, and vitality. And I know that my decision in this situation is the turning point for my happiness. I can either go back and be in this situation again and be unhappy, or I can simply move on, close out the cycle, get my justice, and move on in my life. And this is your decision. Eight of Cups, walking away from the whole thing to the Five of Swords because there is betrayal, conflict, loss, defeat. It's just something you don't want to engage in again. The Five of Swords again, right? Conflict, defeat, betrayal, shadiness, trying to get away with something. To strength. And you are adamantly strong. Adamantly strong that you don't want this bullshit in your life anymore. The Eight of Swords in reverse. This is releasing the mental that this whole thing started for you. 
um, the, this message, right? Mental distress, thinking about all of this. Eight of Swords in reverse, releasing that and having a new perspective. About what? About a potential love situation with this person. The Emperor in reverse comes in and says, No, dude, you don't have integrity. You are not, you know what? I'm the Empress and I will only entertain the Emperor. Somebody that is straight up. Somebody that is in control of themselves. A leader. Um, somebody that I can trust. You, my friend, are not. You lack integrity. Um, you, you, I'm just, I'm, I'm completely inflexible. My new perspective about this love relationship is that you lack integrity and I am completely inflexible about entertaining this again. The two of swords. Um, this is, uh, blockage, right? Blockage. Blocked emotions. Block, block, block. To the Three of Swords. Keep your heartbreak, sis. Keep your heartbreak, bro. I don't want anything to do with it. I am out of here. Gone, out, hopping. The next candela that comes along, right? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is an overinvestment of my time and effort. It is not worth not one iota of my effort. To the Seven of Cups. I have had wishful thinking about this for a long time. But the only thing that remains is conflict. After I have sorted through everything, do I... What's the first thing I think of when I think of you? I think of conflict and competition and strife and tension. And I don't want it, bro. The Devil in Reverse. I'm detaching. Queen of Swords in Reverse. Because I don't want none of it. I am stern and emotionless and withdrawn, salty about the whole thing still. Five of Pentacles, leaving you out in the cold. Ten of Wands in reverse, avoiding the responsibility of all of this fuckery in my life. Nine of Wands, I have been persistent and resilient. King of Cups, I have tried to love you. I have tried to exchange emotions with you in the past. And all I got was rejection, anxiety, and despair. Ace of Pentacles, I am going to go manifest a new opportunity elsewhere in my life. Eight of Pentacles, in a relationship where I can engage and we can work on it and we can build something of substance. To the Queen of Pentacles, where I can be the straight up Queen of Pentacles in somebody else's life in a future relationship. Queen of Wands in reverse. I, I don't I don't want to be this anymore. I don't want to be. I don't want to be unfulfilled in a relationship. Hangman in reverse. Therefore, that is my resistance to engaging with you because you didn't meet my needs before. What makes you think you can meet my needs now? I see no kind of massive significant change in anything. You're the same old, same old hitting me up saying, yo, what's up, babe? Yo, what's up, babe? No, I don't think so. Four of Wands, I'm going to build structure, foundation, stability, and have harmony in a love relationship. I'm going to manifest my own opportunity in love outside of you. Once and for all, I am breaking free of the mental challenges associated with you because I now have justice. I now have justice because you, I, I don't see you with the rose-colored glasses any more. Page of, pen, page of cups in reverse. I'm going to block this creation. You are not emotionally mature enough to engage with me and I'm blocking creation. Temperance comes in and says, you know what? I'm cool with it. I'm balanced. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm cool with it. I am tempered in this situation. Um, I just simply am not going to participate. The Six of Wands, because I'm going to have victory, progress, and success in my life to the King of Pentacles in reverse without you. I'm looking forward to my future. Queen of Wands, I'm looking forward to having my needs met in a relationship that brings me emotional happiness. I'm holding out for the wishes fulfilled 
bro or sis. I mean, that's what I'm holding out for. And this ain't it. Seven of Cups. I have options. I have I have choices. And you are not it. To the Page of Wands. And I am going to go manifest. I am going to explore. I am going to discover. And I am going to manifest outside of this relationship with you. I'm not interested. I don't want it. You can take it. Take your apology. Take your communication. And shove it up your ass because I am absolutely positively done with you. Wow, Taurus, so that was a pretty pointed reading. Wow, wow, wow. What else? What else? Huh, Knight of Swords in reverse. Disregard for consequences. I'm not even interested in how maybe this might turn out. Because you're full of shit with the Page of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. And I'm not reuniting and reconciling with you. Just not gonna do it. Just not gonna do it. What else? Yep, look, Nine of Pentacles. I'm on my own, bro. Thanks, but no thanks. See ya when I see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Good luck with all your bullshit. Yeah, look, Four of Swords. I'm contemplating my next move, and it ain't towards you. What else? Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to manifest an inspired, passionate new... I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> and I'm gonna manifest an inspired, passionate new beginning someplace else because you were nothing but a painful lesson in my life. Lesson learned, but a painful lesson because you were full of fuckery as the King of Wands in reverse. You were a player. You were a liar. You were a cheater to the Hierophant in reverse, and I have reevaluated what I believe about you. There was a time when I thought you were the bee's knees, baby. I thought you were the bee's knees, and I would have done fucking anything for you. And I was resilient, and I was persistent, and I tried and tried and tried, but guess what you kept giving me? You kept giving me all talk, no action, undelivered promises, and, and could not meet my needs. So why, why would I engage in that again? I'm way too smart. I understand. What? Yeah, look, the Five of Cups. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment. No more. I spent way too much time in a state of loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. And guess what I finally... That although, although I saw you as the Three of Cups... There's other options and other choices that I'm going to turn around and explore this time. Yep, look, I don't want to give and receive with you, and I am blocking my emotions. And Taurus, this is the this is the reading for for whoever this resonates with. Um, all situations are different. Everybody's journey is different, and therefore your personal tarot card reading will be different. But this can be uh, vice versa. Of course, it's a general reading. I have no clue who or what I'm channeling. Um, but if this is you, you are done with this. You are not entertaining somebody coming back from your past um, and wanting to reunite and reconcile. If this is flipped, your person does not want to reunite and reconcile. So put it where it goes. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.